last warm-up exercise is doing the chords again as i mentioned before chords are foundational so we really want to know what our chords are and how to play them luckily for us on lyres and harps the way we play chords is pretty much the same it's always a pattern of string skip string and skip that's your triad in in root position we're only going to be doing the root position so I want you to go ahead the same thing that we did for the first exercise to land those three fingers together if you can't do that yet because you don't know the spacing go ahead and land it one at a time give it a few squeeze and then try and lift up and come back down it's a cookie cutter position that we want to remember because as we're moving you will see that each chord is named after the root position and all we're doing is we're taking this cookie cutter shape and moving it, moving moving it up and down our liar and I'm not playing yet I'm just giving my strings a squeeze just so that my hands and my fingers are comfortable and I'm using muscle memory to remember the spacing and remember where the strings are so let's go ahead and pluck them we're gonna pluck them all together Make sure that you're plucking them together so that your each sound is nice and even. One more time. C, E, G. String, skip, string, skip, string. Let's move that cookie cutter position one step up. And now we are on D, F, A which is a D minor. Let's move all the way up. Again, one string up. Now we're on E, G, and B. It's an E minor chord. Let's move everything one step up. Now we're on F, A, C. That is our F major chord. One step up again. Everything goes up one step. G, B, D, that's our G major chord. You can see it's a cookie cutter position. Because, I, because I'm keeping to that same distances, I can change my, um, my chords by just moving one step up. I'm an A, A, C, E, which is an A minor chord. Moving one step up, B, D, F for B diminished chord. One more step up, and now I'm playing a C chord, an octave up. Again, you can play this one more time and practice it on your own. Let's also do it um, arpeggiated, which means we're going to play one string at a time. Again, make sure that you're plucking them evenly so that the tones are the same equal and connected C E G let's move everything one step up D F A D F A moving one step up E G B E G B one step up F A C F A C, one step up, G, B, D, G, B, D, one step up, A minor chord, A, C, E, A, C, E, one step up, B, D, F, B diminish, one step up, A, C, E, A, C, E. Go ahead and pause this video practice it um if you if you if you like and do it a few more times practice with your right hand and then your left hand once you're comfortable um you can you can unpause the video and we'll play our first phrase <laughs> 